Hey everyone, it is February 12th, 2023. We know this is a day that we're all watching very closely. Also too, I just want to explain briefly that if you hear water running in the background, that's because I'm trying to cover up the sound of my voice and I'm basically hiding in a cave in my closet with the door shut. <laughs> um, just to give you an idea of my day, day to day, um, I live in a house divided. Um, no one believes me from what I've shown. It like like Yahusha says, a prophet is not believed. So they're not even welcome in his own household or his own town. It's very true. Um, they don't believe what I've been teaching, and they don't believe at all anything about. I mean, they're still on once saved, always saved, and still following after Paul. And so, persecution is on the daily here. Um, so, but this is an important warning that Father wants me to get out now, and I'm being obedient regardless of what they think. Um, so I'm kind of masking what I'm doing so it doesn't cause more um, unnecessary uh, strife in my home. But I had to come out with this because I saw this. I'm not subscribed to this person. I've heard of this person before, Isaiah Salvador. Um, uh, he's very um, loud. He's very... Um, bombastic and he can get you in your feelings and your flesh really well and some people think it's they're filling the holy spirit when you hear him speak but it's not true along with these other gentlemen here where i'm going to zoom in so you can see all their names you probably will recognize them greg Locke, um alexander pagni um isaiah i don't know how to say this gentleman's name vladimir anyway and daniel adams so you guys these are wolves. They're all wolves. And I'll show you, okay? Now, interestingly enough, they're, they're pounding the pulp about revival and deliverance and all of those kind of things, right? They're saying that there's going to be... And if you read, if you read, if you truly read in times scripture, in Revelation, and all through the, the Old Testament, you'll never see that there's a revival before Yahusha comes. There never is. And so supposedly there is this revival breaking out. And I've heard of it in other churches as well. Oh, there's this revival breaking out. Honestly, I believe it's the Kundalini spirit working through the false churches. Absolutely. It's the Kundalini spirit working through the false churches. And the churches that hold their worship services on Sunday, which is worshiping the sun god, the false god, which is the Hasatan of the world, um, and not the great Yahuwah. On their, the Sabbath day is the seventh day. And don't come at me with all these different calendars and stuff like that. He made it very simple. Yahuwah made his Sabbath day easy to keep. There's no excuses. No excuses. It's every seventh day. And you can take that and study it in Exodus where Moses took the Israelites into the wilderness. And every seventh day he gave them manna. So don't, or they, he, every seventh day they rested after he gave them manna. He taught them every seventh day simply. He didn't look at moons. He didn't do anything. It was every seventh day every seventh day. So, but these pastors are holding worship on the first day. They're worshiping Satan. They're worshiping Jesus, which we know is the false Christ. It is the image of the beast. Okay. They are pumping this up. And it's really interesting. Some things I found, I saw as I was coming through, of course, anybody, anybody, and I've said this before in my past videos, anybody that you see put in the public eye is a Freemason and is a plant. They are an enemy plant. Remember that when the enemy planted tares among the wheat? Yes, this is an enemy plant. Okay, this is a tear. And you'll see Greg Locke in his big old tent revivals and his meetings. And he gets all bombastic and tries to call out the witches. He's trying to make you think he's a Christian. The true deal. Okay, the real deal. Putting his hands on people and casting out devils and all that kind of stuff. Okay. You see that going on all through this video that you see in this little trailer that Isaiah Salvador put out for himself. And as you look at his followers too, he's got over half a million followers. When you see someone with that many followers, you know they are not walking in the narrow way. Mm -mm, they are not walking in the narrow way. Not that many people is going to follow the narrow way. Okay. But this guy right here, casting out demons, and demons supposedly yelling at the pastor who's casting out. Someone's laying on heads trying to heal people. Okay. And this look on uh, 
Isaiah Salvador's face is going to be mild compared to the shock he's going to hear when he hears Yahusha say, I do not know you. Get thee hence, you lawbreaker. Okay? Um, and I'm, I'm talking about serious. So, oh, I'm going to back up here. So, as it says, there's nothing new under the sun and nothing is coincidence. Nothing. It's all planned. And these wolves have planned to release this film on March 13th. Okay? March 13th. 13 is the number for rebellion. 13 is the biblical number for rebellion. Okay? And then if you look at the date, March 13th, 2023, and you are wise as a serpent and gentle as a dove, you will see that when you take out the zero, because zero is just a placeholder, but when you add 3 plus 1 plus 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 3, you get 23. Now, 23 is another occult number that if you realize, I'm, I'll post another video that has that talks about more about 23, but that is an occult number also, okay? So we were warned, we were warned by Yahushua that there would be false messiahs and false prophets that would arise and perform great signs and wonders and, and casting out devils and, you know, healings and stuff like that to lead people astray. If possible, even the elect, the elect won't be deceived because they truly have the Holy Spirit. Anybody following this kind of hogwash from Satan, it does not have the Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm just putting it out there point blank. That's what it is. And if you if you feel like you I mean, I'll be honest, these guys are pretty convincing. They almost had me fooled. That's why it says if it were possible, there was always something in my spirit like, hmm, right. Hmm, I'm something not quite right. I mean, they're convincing. Don't get me wrong. But there was something not quite right. And, I, and you probably can hear my Southern coming out a little bit more in this video because I'm a little fired up. I'm definitely fired up. When I get fired up, my Southern accent comes out pretty strong. So I'm trying to tame it down a little bit for y'all. So anyway, but it says, take note. I have told you in advance. Yahusha warned us in advance. So, you know, we, we cannot go there and there the verse 28 this is this is really interesting because i always wondered what this meant wherever the carcass is there the vultures will gather the carcass dead the spiritually dead that is where the vultures are gathering they're gathering where the the spiritually dead are in the spiritually dead churches on sunday and the vultures are there and they're fleecing the sheep if you want to call it that they are taking people for a ride emotionally spiritually financially Yes, the vultures have gathered there. Matthew 7. I'm going to wrap this up pretty quick. He will say, like I said, all these pastors, preachers who who could be self-deceived, and some, I believe, anybody who's a 501c3, they know, they know who their master is, their real master is, and that's Hasatan, the Satan man. They know, but there might be even few that are self-deceived, but some of them will say, Lord, Lord, which, of course, we know that Lord has been substituted for the real name, real title of the Messiah. Didn't we prophesy in your name and drive out demons in your name and do many miracles in your name? What name was that? Mm, Jesus Christ. Mm, mm -hmm. And then I will announce them. I never knew you because he's going to say, Jesus Christ ain't my name. Jesus Christ ain't my name. Jesus Christ is not the name of the Messiah. He says, department from me, you lawbreakers. And they're breaking the law. Why? Because they are holding worship services on the first day, the Sunday, worshiping Hasatan and not keeping his seventh day, the Sabbath day, holy. He's not keeping it set apart. Ten commandments. They're breaking the fourth commandment every single week. Every single week. And then I try to claim that they have the cure for all the ills of all the addiction and sin and, and demonic oppression and possession. No, they don't. They don't because why? Because, yeah, I know people say, well, a demon can't cast out a demon. Oh, yeah, they can. Yeah, they can. That is a demon. Casting out a demon. <laughs> Demons can play good cops and bad cops to what? Deceive you. They can play good cop, bad cop to deceive you. So don't be fooled, my friends. Don't be fooled at all by this kind of nonsense. Okay? These are men are wolves and they are basically sucking your spirit dry. That's what they are. They are spiritual vampires. Spiritual vampires. 
sucking your spirit dry and you think you've gotten a little bit of love but that's because they give you an anesthesia a spiritual anesthesia you get that euphoria from that false spirit like i said what's moving right now if you see any kind of revival in a church right now it's not the work of god it's not the work of yahuwah and it's not the spirit the ruach hakodesh it is a kundalini spirit absolutely and then when you praise jesus you're praising satan for real so please guys be wise pray for revelation on this truth here do not be deceived we are so very close to the very end things are going to get rocking and rolling pretty dang quick because you know what we are entering into the great tribulation there's going to be a lot of darkness there's going to a lot of be a lot be a lot more craziness. There's going to be a lot more supernatural manifesting pretty quick. If you ask me, there's been a lot already manifesting, but people who don't have eyes don't see it. So I pray y'all, please try to wake up your family, friends, show them the truth. I know that the way is narrow and few be there find it, but we don't know for sure who is going to be the one to accept it. So don't stop sharing the truth. God's blessing be on you all.